When Jack and I got married last spring, I was excited to finally start our new life together. Jack was a big, strong guy over six feet tall with broad shoulders from his construction job. But he had a childlike innocence and always trusted people easily. I loved that he saw the good in everyone. Little did I know how this quality would lead to our undoing. We moved into my parents' house to stay with my mother temporarily while we saved up for a place of our own. In retrospect, that was our first mistake. My mother, Eva, was only 50, but she had already been through countless men, luring them with her sensual charm only to toss them aside like used tissues. She dressed provocatively in tight clothes that showed off her ample curves and always wore dramatic makeup and perfume. From the moment we arrived, I noticed her eyeing Jack in a predatory way that made me uncomfortable. Over the next few weeks, Eva began to find excuses to be around Jack, bringing him lemonade while he worked in the yard, brushing up against him in the kitchen, and finding reasons to summon him to her bedroom to help with minor chores. Meanwhile, she grew cold and distant toward me, as if marking her territory. My instincts told me that something inappropriate was developing between them, but I tried to deny it. After all, Jack was my husband. One hot summer night, after Jack had gone to bed, I was restless and went to the kitchen to get some water. As I passed my mother's half-open door, I was stunned to see her and Jack in a passionate embrace. Without thinking, I burst into the room and took in the scene of utter betrayal. They jumped apart, their faces flushed with guilt. I didn't wait for excuses or apologies. I packed my bags that night and was gone by morning, my heart broken and my trust shattered. Some wounds can never be repaired, and a mother's betrayal cuts deepest of all. I won't look back. Two months later, despite Jack's pleas, I divorced him. Two years passed, and I met a new man. James was a serious man who had a good job and was very caring. Our relationship grew stronger. James was preparing to propose to me. Before he asked me to marry him, he introduced me to his parents. His mother interviewed me and found out that I was Eva's daughter. When I told her that yes, I was Eva's daughter, her face twisted as if she had seen something very dirty and smelly. Soon James told me that his mother was totally against our relationship and wanted to break it off. His mother told him that she was as promiscuous as Eve. This was a huge blow to me. My mother had ruined my life here as well. I told James he was a spineless worm and deleted his phone. Now I live alone in another town. I'm not in a relationship. I need a break to recover.